Your dad was the best boss any of us ever had. We're sad to hear you're selling the company. I've been going over the books. We're paying an Anthony Soprano, second highest salary in the company. He's a consultant. Where do I reach him? I want to make some changes, but his office is full of junk. There's a 55-horse Johnson outboard on the desk. Looks like nobody's ever there. He's in the hospital. You should talk to his colleague, Mr. Galtieri. Polly? Oh, Tony Soprano, of course. I knew him when I was a kid. He was a friend of the family. Look who I got here. Oh, the sanitation prince. <laughs> Hi, Tony. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Thank you. Sorry about your loss. Your father and I were very close. Remember my daughter, Mano? Jason Burrow. Hi. Hey. Remember when you were a kid? I got that field box at Shea, opening day. Me, you, your dad, and Paulie here. Oh, yeah. Kingman was just back from the Cubs. Mookie Wilson hit that foul tip, being that guy in the low. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get to the office. Finn's picking me up. So, you're living in uh, Deer Valley? Yeah, ski instructor. So, uh... Paulie tells me you're thinking of selling your father's business to Chucky Cianelli. Yeah, I think it's the best thing for Mom. And, of course, Tony, there'd be a severance package for you. Frankly, Jason, I don't think you should sell the business right now. There's a lot of potential buyers out there. Let me get out of the hospital, run the numbers, get you the best price. No, Cianelli's offer seemed fair. There's lots of things to take into account. You even know what your habit is? My what? Earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Gives the true picture of a company's profitability. Jace, you let me handle this. I don't want to see you get hurt. The cotton business is a different corporate culture. You're tired, T. We'll leave. Come on. Is he fucking kidding me? I told him I need that W-2 in perpetuity. And 5% of the fucking sales price? He thinks because I'm in this freaking condition, he can take advantage where he can go fuck himself. I'm just telling you what Phil told me, Tom. And you tell Jason before he sells, he better understand his obligation. What's up, Polly? Since even with Tony's advice, you seem determined to sell your father's company, there's something you should know. Whatever happens, we gotta be taken care of. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna honor whatever provisions are in the contract. Fuck the contract. Tony's given years of his life to that company, and he expects to be duly compensated. Johnny Sack sure as shit ain't gonna perform. Who? Mr. Cianelli's waste management consultant. And since Johnny Sack ain't gonna step up, guess what? It's coming out of your race. You know, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little intimidated. As well you should, my friend. A man who teaches skiing for a living ought to look after his physical condition, wouldn't you say? His knees. Kid. You wouldn't be in this situation you listen to Tony in the first place. He's looking out for you. He doesn't want to see you get hurt. I got a lot on my mind these days. I don't need this shit. I told you, it's a different corporate culture. I tried to redefine the deal. You shouldn't have made the deal without talking to me in the first place. Well, goddammit, how was I supposed to know? I made it perfectly clear. Give a part of your profits. Thanks to you, a man is beaten half to death. Well, his little boy was watching, and it's all over the media. It's not fair. The business belongs to my family. Fair? You, you fucking believe this shit? You remind me of my kid. Talk to the Katrina victims about fair. Why don't you talk to Paulie here? He'll tell you about fair. Absolutely. You know you're worse than my son. Get him the fuck out of here. Hey. How was I supposed to know? My family kept me in the dark. What kind of pathetic fucking excuse is that? Don't you communicate? Oh, you make me sick, you fucking baby.